In today's video, I'm going to show you how to define and use named ranges in Google Sheets. So named ranges are usually used when you're working with multiple worksheets. So I have two worksheets right here where from this worksheet, I want to count the number of customers that I have in the first worksheet. So I will be doing this in two ways. First would be the regular way where I will be referring to that range by using cell references. And on the second part, I will be using named ranges. Let's get started. So here on our second sheet, we have some inquiries where we want to know the number of customers, total quantity purchased, and the product names. Here we have our reference data set on the first sheet and our inquiries on the second sheet. So the usual way to do this would be to start with your formula. And so to count the number of customers, we're going to use the formula counter. And we're going to go back to sheet number one to select our range. If we press enter, we have the number of customers, which is 19. And our formula would be here where our cell reference would be this one. Next one would be we want to know the total quantity purchased. So for this one, we're going to use the formula sum. Go back to the first sheet where we have the quantity select that range and press enter and you have the total. Now for the products, we want to know how many products are exactly here. Some of them are repeated. So we're going to use the unique function. So that's equal sign unique. Select it right here. Then go back again to sheet number one to select that range and press enter. And we have the name of the products right here. Now, if we want to know the number of products, we can just put counter right there. And there we have it. So let's change that to number of products. So we all have our digits right here, 19 customers, 2,990 quantity purchased and four products. Now we can easily do that by just naming our ranges instead of going back and forth into our sheet number one. Now, before we do that, we have to name our ranges first. So let's go to customer name, select this range, go to data on the menu bar and select name ranges. So we have our name ranges panel on the right where we can input the name that we want for our range right here. Let's put in customer name. If we click on done, it will give us an error saying this is not valid because it does not accept spaces in between your characters. Now you can put an underscore or you can just eliminate that space altogether, but I'm going to stick with the underscore, click on done, and there's our first named range. So we have the cell reference of sheet one from B2 to B20. Let's try that again with our next range. We have our product purchase, select that range. Now go to the right side. Our name ranges panel is still open. So all we have to do is just add a range right here. Put in the name that you want. You can keep this short. It's totally up to you. I just want to show you what it would look like and some of the choices that you can make and just click on done. Now, another way to do this would be to just select your range, right click on that range. Go to the very bottom where you see view cell more actions and select define name range. If you do that, the same panel will appear on the right side. So let's rename this range into quantity and done. And now we've successfully named all of our ranges that we need for our second worksheet. Now let's go back to our second worksheet where we're going to do the same thing from here. But instead of selecting that range, we're going to use our name ranges. So let's do and count our number of customers. Start our formula with the equal sign. Type in or select counter and put in your named range. So we're going to type in C. And as you see here, we have some selections, we have some choices, and one of the choices would be our name range. If you select that and press enter, you have the same results as our formula right here. Let's do the next one. Total quantity purchase. So for this one, we are going to do 
the sum function right here, then put in our quantity. So if you just type in the letter Q, you'll have quantity in one of your choices right here. If you select it and then press enter, you will have the same results. And for the last one, we have the number of products. So again, we can just start our formula with the unique first. Put in our named range, which would be letter P, starting with letter P, product purchase right there, press enter you have the unique products and if we just add counter at the beginning there you have it press enter and we have the same results and that's just one of the many ways that you can define and use named ranges here in google sheets thanks for watching if you found this video helpful do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos see you on the next one